and first boundary to Matthew Wade. Lovely shot. For this time, Andre Fletcher was not quick enough to his left. Not as much pace from Russell as we saw from Sheldon Cottrell in the previous over. Beautifully played again. Matthew Way just giving himself a little bit of room. Finds that gap. And that's smart batting. Agonizingly close to Hayden Walsh Jr. Gets his man. Very good from Obed McCoy. Wade gave himself room very early. When you bowl a straight line, wicket to wicket, that's the reward. You miss, I hit. Struck firmly. And it will go into the boundary. That's a very good end to the over for Australia. 52 for one. Loud appeal, and he's given him. Nicholas Buran didn't move down the leg side. He was quite confident. But will Australia appeal? He's just trying to do a little too much here, Marsh. Moves all the way across his thumbs to sweep this one. Starts straight away with a confident shot, and will get four. Wow, that's the right tempo that the Australians will want from Carey. Bang, down the ground, straight and powerful, and he will get four. The two spinners in operation. This one gets to the boundary. So well placed from Alex Carey. In Walsh back into the attack. And he's gone. First delivery of the over. Alex Carey finds Lyndall Simmons. Here, the Walsh Jr., nice flighted delivery. Tempted carry into the big off drive. Only finding Lennon Simmons at extra cover. Get him, Ebo! This Ebo! one is high into the night sky. Who wants it? Well, they both want it in the end. It was a combined effort between Dwayne Bravo and that man again, Fabian Allen, who's always in a good position. Both of them were going for the catch. For a brief moment, I thought it was going to be a collision. Dwayne Bravo got it spilled out. Second attempt, miss, and Fabian Allen, look at that. Excellent delivery. Will just challenge the boundary, Obed McCoy. Doesn't get there, so a fortuitous boundary for Turner, but some turn for Hayden Walls Jr. Hits this one very, very well. He waited and waited. First six of the innings. 109 for four. Exactly what uh, position you want to be in when facing Dwayne Bravo at the back end of an innings. Very still, very open, keeping that option through the offside and through the onside. superb it really is anticipation of the line that Russell has bowled so well previously and Turner moved towards it lovely shot you get the wind helping you that side 124 for four Free license to go for it uh, to give uh, boundary hitting uh, utmost priority. He is safe as a bank, Fabian Allen. That is. And that's why, for the right-handers, this is the perfect plan if you're a bowler. Go round the wicket. 
good. Bravo is tremendous. He really is at doing this. Experience and skill. Only three fours and two sixes in the death across the series for Australia. It's runs on the board, though. Don't besmirk it. And they've got Riley Meredith with his piece in tonight. But this is good work from the West Indies. Well, he starts off with the boundary. Just have this one wrong there. Gone. After getting a boundary in a portion of the bat, and Mitchell Stark gets his first wicket of the series. And, and how will he give Australia a good start? And create pressure, and there it was. Well, Chris Gale has decided he's going after him. And gets a bounce, gets a maximum, goes all the way. Do what he's known for doing, Chris Gale. He'll be very pleased with this shot. Welcome back. Wow. Just whipped away and sped across the boundary. And again. And another boundary. Really tearing into Hazelwood tonight, Chris Gale. Goes straight this time. Another blow from Chris Gale. And an expensive over from Hazelwood. 19 coming from it. 23 for one after two. <laughs> Lindell Simmons goes after him. Gets the gap and gets the boundary. What a shot from Lindell Simmons, this time to the offside. An excellent end to the over for the West Indies with consecutive boundaries. 4-1 for one and 34 for 1. Would have brought out special performances. And that's a special shot from Lindell Simmons. Very close to going for six. One bounce. Meredith. Swatted away straight to the fielder. Stark, the catcher. Simmons will be very disappointed because he's looked quite fluent in this innings. He's struck it well, Linda Simmons. But unfortunately, straight to Michelle Stark. Yes! Oh! Nicked and just away from that fielder. That first slip. Picked up sweetly and goes all the way with the win. And he hasn't got a lot of pace. And look at that for a shot. Very well executed. Sweetly struck. Chris Gale now has gone where no man has gone before. The first to reach 14,000 runs in T20 cricket. And what a way to bring up that landmark. Take a bow, Christopher Henry Gale. Runs very, very quickly down that slope. Valuable and important runs, though, for the West Indies. Wind cannot stop that. The ever-present threat of Chris Gale. When this man picks up, as long as Zampa misses his length, Chris Gale will go with him. That's gone too. Too short, then too full. 
Magnificent ball striking. Oh, welcome back, Universe Boss. Cannot pitch up to him, Adam Zampa. That's 54, Chris Gale. A magnificent way to say, I am back in touch. Oh, goodness. Really? That is dynamic, powerful. This one was just smacked. 97 meters out of the ground. Such a good sound on that. This is Chris Gale's night. The night he's returned to form. Meredith has not a clue where to bowl at Christopher Henry Gale tonight. Got him. Gets his man, strikes back. After the entertainment, pace off the ball, a little bit of extra bounce. They're just changing the angle as well, Meredith. Choosing to come over the wicket. That's a top shot. It deserves four, and it gets four. That'll take some catching, Adam Zampa. Adam Zampa. Has he held on? Yes, he has held on. That was not easy. Not in control, trying to make room, Dwayne Bravo. But not in control, just hands coming off of the bat. That's just a man in form. It really is just a man in form. That's his first ball, you know, folks. Andre Russell. He's clearing his, that front leg and going hard. Well, both Gail and Purano have played with him at the Punjab Kings have treated him with his disdain in many ways. Glad for Puran as well. Authority. Yeah! Some serious authority. And you can hear the screams. What a victory in the match. What a victory in the series. And what a victory for Nicholas Puran. Three games as captain, three victories for him. West Indies win by six wickets. Such a, a confident shot and a confident win by West Indies once again. Just pulling this one for four, Nicholas Puran. And the celebration, the elation as the captain. Crowd is loving it. High fives all around. Swiss Indies win this one by six wickets. And take the series 3 0 with two more matches to go. He'll be quite pleased, Kyron Pollard. To see what the team has been able to produce without him.